hi everyone welcome to our channel today video is on angular 4 state management card example with ngrx version 14 which is the latest version okay so in general what is ngrx store management or what for it means in angular application to share consistent data between multiple components we can use ngrx state okay so here here are the key building features or building components for creating the angular ngrx store in angular application okay so the key parts are like selector store reducer actions and effects okay so from this diagram okay if at all we want to display some data okay that was saved in the store okay ngrx store then component should call the selector okay selector is like a function which can fetches the any kind of slice of data from the store okay so the component must invoke or listen for the selector to get the information from the store okay selector has also one more uh, selector had also one more capability like any change or update in the state it can read immediately okay so selector is always watches at the store changes okay then how the data will be saved into the store okay for that there will be the actions and reducers so what are actions action defines particular event to be happen okay so actions uh, defend particular event to be happen so actions can invoke two kind of ngrx store components like reducer and effect so first let's understand what is effect effect is a nothing but a logical unit which can work on network calls nothing but the api call okay instead of directly calling the api calls in the components ngrx store provides a beautiful way for invoking the api calls that is nothing but effects so this effect get triggered when the component invokes a particular action okay all these are interrelated so component invokes or calls one particular action and that particular action can invoke a effect so in that effect we will write api call invocation logic once the api okay successful and we receive response then again effect in reverse will invoke the action method okay so on invoking action method effect will also pass the response data into the action method okay so here uh, actions action can invoke effect and effect can invoke the action so once that particular action invoke and it receives the response from api what it will do it will directly communicate with the reducer so reducers are nothing but the pure functions whatever we give it will return as it is okay so reduces what will do any change of data in the store what it will do means it will create a new state and update the store why it will create new state means the basic rule is we never change the data of the store okay if you want to changes then we have to create the entire new state okay that is the responsibility of the reduce so whenever the effects invoke the action method and passes the response to it the action method immediately invokes a reducer and pushes the new data into the store by creating the new state entirely new state okay so that is the basic flow of uh, ngrx store so now what we will do we will create a angular 14 application and in that we are going to implement the thread operation create read update operations okay but for maintaining the state between the components in the, in the example that i am going to create i am going to use the ngrx store okay and one more thing in this demo we are going to use uh, angular lazy loading okay so that means uh, our components and the store store also can be implemented at the 
future module level or the child module level. So in this demo, I am going to show the uh, global or shared store. Okay, that means uh, it can provide data to the entire application and also the future or child store means that the data will be maintained between a particular uh, module only child module only. Okay. So let's jump into creating the angular application. So here is the angular CLI command for generating the new angular application. So command is ng space new space name of the project. So let's create the project. And angular CLI question says, do you want to create angular routing? So since we are going to use lazy loading, which definitely depends upon the routing. So make sure to select yes by clicking Y you can enter and it also asks us what kind of styling we want to use here. I am going to choose CSS. Okay. Project created successfully. Let me open my angular project in Visual Studio code editor. So here is my angular application and if you go to package.json. Okay, and you can see the latest version that is angular 14 our project got created. Okay. Now let me install the bootstrap package so that I can add some default styling or so I can use some default bootstrap components for better component display. Okay. So in the terminal enter the command like npm install bootstrap. Bootstrap package installation finished. Now let's configure Bootstrap, bootstrap CSS and JS file into our Angular.json file. Okay. So go to Angular.json file. So here add the uh, Angular, sorry, Bootstrap CSS. File reference. Okay. And also add the JS reference as well. First, let's run our Angular application. So, command to run ng serve. So, default Angular application look like this. Some sample introduction uh, Angular HTML. So, now what I will do? I am going to remove this menu and I am going to add my Bootstrap menu. For that, go to Bootstrap website. Okay, in the docs, uh, go for navbar component. So in the components, you can see the navbar. Okay, from this, let me select one navbar. Okay, so I will copy. I'll copy this first one, dark one. Okay. And navigate back to our project and open app component.html file. Okay. And we can remove all the existing HTML from this file except one router outlet element. Okay. Except this element. I can delete everything. Okay. And now here, let me add my menu. And what I'm going to do, let's add container fluid. Okay. Instead of it, branding like a heading, now bar brand okay so 
you know what I will do. I will just give the title for my heading. Like a books store. I am dealing with the books crud operation. Now if I save and reload. See, now I got nice black menu. Okay, now let's set up the API. Okay, so to implement CRUD operations, either with with or without NGRF store, we have we need to depend on the server side API call, right? So we should use a API or a service for consuming our Angular application. For that, I am going to use the JSON fake server. Okay, so for that you can search like JSON server. Okay, and you can go to directly GitHub, and here you, you can find the commands how to configure. Very easy, only two step process. Okay, first step is first you have to install the JSON server into your local machine globally. For that, you can copy this command and run it. After installing this command, JSON server locally added into your machine. And you need to just run it. So to run that JSON server, okay, the command is JSON server iPhone hyphen, hyphen watch db dot JSON. So what it will do? It will run the JSON server and it will create a db JSON db dot JSON file if doesn't exist. Okay, so what I will do? Copy this command. So this command is to run the JSON server. So what I will do? I will create a normal command in my Angular application itself. So go to package.json and here let me add one more command uh, like uh, what I will do json server I will name it like json run okay and paste the command here so now I can use json run to start up the server okay so copy this and Open one more terminal. So what you can do npm space run space your command name that is JSON iPhone run. Okay. So what it will do? Sorry. Okay, I haven't saved the command. Please save it. Okay. Then again run. So it is trying to start the JSON server. Since I am running first time, right? What it will do means it's going to create a uh, db.json file. You can see some comments here that was coming from the JSON server. Okay. And there are few default endpoints. So we can modify these endpoints and we can give our own data to be served from the fake JSON API. Okay. For that, search for db.json file. So this is the fake or default. Uh, Endpoint. So based on the root property, endpoint will be available. Data will be stored in this JSON file. Okay. So what I will do? Just remove this, and I am going to change it to books. Okay. I will have ID, title, and the author, and I will add one more property like cost. Okay. The book name like Harry Potter. And the philosopher tone book. Okay, philosopher, so I believe. And who is the other? JK Rowling's. And let the cost be some 300 bucks. Okay. So now I have endpoint like books and if you save it and go to the terminal, you can see the new endpoint will be shown here. Okay. So the new endpoint is this one books. If you copy and enter into the browser and try to access it. See. Now I got API set up in my local machine so I can use this API in my Angular application. Okay, and make sure to run both Angular and the JSON server 
applications while you are testing okay now let's create a child module or future module and i will name it like books okay let's create the books module okay so command for is ng ng generate module and name of my module i will specify like books and i want routing as well so to create routing along with module we have to specify flag like routing okay run the command okay now if i go to my project and in the src in the app new folder books is created and here you can see one module file and routing file got created now as a first step uh, since it is a child module right let's create a component inside of this future or child module okay i will create a sample component like home so in that home component my requirement is to display the book items okay so first create the uh, component <clears throat> so command is like ng generate so component right component and name of the component so i want home right so inside of the books folder means books module i want to create the component so specify the path like books slash and name of the component name of the component is home okay and i want to skip the uh, generation of testing files for that let's add a flag like iphone iphone skip iphone text okay so here you can see a component html ts file css files are generated and if you go to the books folder inside of books folder now i have the component like home okay now since i am using lazy loading right so let's configure the uh, module in the routing for that first go to uh, app component sorry app routing module okay here instead of the routes we can specify the path so let's try to create a home path okay path empty so that means home path and here i want to load home path for the uh, books module right so in the lazy loading here we have to specify the load children so it will enable the lazy loading okay here it's going to take an anonymous arrow function okay, imports and here specify the path of the uh, our feature module that is books okay and then specify the name of the component okay book module okay this is lazy loading routing and now inside of the book module or book routing module let's specify our component routing so for that go to book app routing okay here let's specify the path so it is also home path right so i will leave empty so what it will do when routing routing first checks the home path home path is here and it is loading children module inside of the children again it search for the home path okay so here we have to define the component uh, to load for this path i want home component okay okay now if i run i'm going to i'm able to see the home component gets loaded so if you go to home component dot html it has some p tag right with homework some text sample text so if already i think our application is running so if i reload the website see here i am getting the homeworks means in the home page or the home path my home component got uh, my home component got rendered okay so here we are simply using the what we call uh, lazy loading because 
in the app routing module we simply configured the modules right no no individual parts here we co configured the module that means we enabled the lazy loading so lazy loading means whenever the request required a particular component at that time only it will download okay once it is download next time same module executes it won't download because already the module in the exist in the browser right so it will uses like that now next let's install the required packages okay for enabling the uh, ngrx into our application so go to ngrx official website and go to the docs okay in the docs if you go to state okay here at, at the rate ngrx store if you click on it and here is the installation tab from here you can copy the command so copy this command and install the store in our application okay you if you say yes the default configurations that are required in our app module automatically get injected like store module all those things uh plugin itself can inject add them preferences so say yes okay after installing ngrx we need one more uh, package that is ngrx effects okay go to there and go to installation and copy the command so let's install the ngrx effects package say yes for default integrations that's going to be taken care by the uh, package and now let's install one more package which is not required for running the ngrx store but that is for development time to observe the uh, flow of ngrx inside the browser so that plugin is in the developers tool tab okay in ngrx store developers tool go to install so copy this command so this is for developers itself to understand the flow of ngrx on a development application okay on the browser we can easily understand the flow so install it so those are the required packages that are dependent on ngrx now what we will do we will create the file files that are involved in uh, establishing the store okay so since here I, here I am using lazy loading right so I am going to create a store for books only okay so this store contain all the information that can share between this module only that nothing but I am going to create a child store or future store okay so first let's define the of uh, files or generate the files in this module so they can be used within this module itself okay so for that first any store okay nothing but saving data so it 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 should represent some object some object is nothing but some type nothing but a some class so first let's create the class or interface for my books module store okay so command is like ng generate let's specify interface okay and it's uh, i want to create a interface like books okay so inside of the books books module books module right so specify the folder name books and i want one more folder to be created that is like store and now specify the interface name i want books only books interface okay and i even i can skip test run the command okay interface there won't be a testing file so i can avoid it okay now file got created if i search for uh, books.ts okay so its path you can see inside of the books folder store folder and books.ts you can see store folder is created inside of the books module and books.ts is 
created. So this model should represent our API data, right? So what I will do, I will simply copy all these properties. Okay. Number string string number okay okay and i can remove double quotes for properties as well so this is this is my uh, state management store object type okay store type this one so that state object just we created represent store okay and next we are going to create four more files one for selector one for reducer one for actions and one for effects okay so let's create the uh, first reducer file okay so now let's create a class for reducer so ng generate this final class okay and uh, inside of the books folder inside of the store i want to create reducer like books dot reducer so this is my file name and the class file will generate test file so let's avoid it okay now books file got created similarly next file i want to generate selector ng generate class okay inside of the books module folder and store folder books dot selector okay so selector also we created next file we want is actions ng generate class books slash store slash books dot uh, action right action iphone iphone skip test okay let's generate the actions file okay now finally let's generate the effects file ng generate okay class books slash store slash books dot so effects iphone iphone skip python text okay So required files to create store are now available for us inside of the store the actions effects reducers selected let's remove this spec file okay so those are the files uh, required for us for creating the store okay now what i will do keep these things aside okay so let's name them correctly to avoid the compilation errors later we are going to remove these classes also there we won't use classes we just use the uh, javascript code okay mostly so now first what i will do First, let's uh, create the home component for rendering the content. Go to home component, okay? So here I want to uh, display the collection of books, okay? With author name and the author uh, book, book name and cost as well, okay? For that, let's uh, add some HTML. and margin top two and here let me add some bootstrap card component so go to bootstrap here you can see the card component 
and I want to loop the chords. So I want auto spacing between the chords. Okay. So this kind of chord grouping I want. So what I will do? I copy this under HTML. Okay, and paste it over here. Go to the home component.ts file. Okay. Now let's set up. Okay in the store some dummy data for that i can go to reducer okay so reducer basically pushes some data into the store okay that data into the store will be accessed by the component right so let's try to create these three things two two things like reducer and the selector logic okay so in the reducer so basically reducer is a pure functions right so in the reducer first let's uh, create the initial state of our store okay initial state okay so it will be the array of books i want to display on the component right home component so so my store will contain array of books so what i will do only array because I don't want to change the values directly. Okay. So our type book. Okay. And initially it is empty. Okay. Initial state of my store is empty book array. So our reducer is a function, right? So export constant name it like book reducer okay to create the reducer we have to use create reducer okay so that loads from the ngrx slash store okay now inside of it i can simply pass the initial state so reducer will pushes this initial state into the store okay so this is the basic uh, code we will implement in the reducer. Now second thing is let's write the selector to fetch the state. Okay. For that go to books selector. Okay. So here also we no need to write a class. Okay. Here I will create a selector like export constant i will name i will name a selector like select books because that will go to select the all the books information from the store okay this is like a root selector so select books okay so to create this we have to use the create future selector okay so it will directly impact it will directly get the all the data from the store so it is of type array of books right in the store okay and here we have to define the this key feature selector name you can give any name but this name and the reducer function we have created right in that combination we have to register them in our book uh, route book module right like store future store module features we have to register okay so simply what i will name my book my books okay any name you can give now i need to register them in the book module because i am creating the uh, child mo child store or the future store right so go to the book module here let's import the uh, future future store module so basically root module future root module automatically imported into our app module if you go to app module whenever the store ngrx store package we install right at that time future uh, root root module register see for route root means for route same way affects also root module register okay so to use child store or to create child store or future store we have to use the module dot feature 
that we have to register in the individual future module or child module. So here what I will do store module store module dot future. Okay. Here you can specify the name of the future and the reducer name. So I have already created right my main future name my books copy that name and specify here and second thing is name of the reducer so what is the function reducer function name book reducer so book reducer you have to pass here okay so we are ready with our store and the selector for fetching the reading the data so if we go back to the store management picture component going to use the selector for fetching the store right so component going to read for the store for that what i will do go to our home component.ts file okay first we need to inject the store private store store that loads from the ngrx store inject into the constructor and now i can create a observable like books so this represents a observable variable prefixing with a dollar here what i can do this dot store dot okay pipe open pipe so here i want to implement the selector for listening the changes in the store so i can write like select so this selects imported from the ngrx store inside of this select i can specify the my selector actual selector name what is our selector name so if we go to the book selector we have just created the feature selector right this one i can pass that one so home component okay so import it import it so what it will do any change in the store automatically gets Observe, observed by this selector and automatically gets pushed into this observable variable since this is observable variable it always watches for the changes from the store okay whenever the store is updated automatically this value also gets the updated data and that data will be rendered on the html now i am going to use this variable to render on my html so for that what i will do so it is like a loop of cards right so I can delete duplicate cards because I am going to loop them. Okay. Now I have single card. I am going to loop it. So I don't have any image. So let's remove it. I want three blocks okay for every row and i want to loop this column so for that i can use ng for okay and let book of so i want to read it from this observable right so copy and add it here dollar is missing add it and here it is a asynchronous right we have to use async pipe here okay so whenever data this div gets looped so inside of it let me add okay book dot uh, i think it will be the name so title of my book i want to display here and next uh, instead of this paragraph i want to display the cost and the uh, name of the other for that go to bootstrap here we can display the list of data so list card with list okay here is the card with list okay for that let's get copy this uls save it i required only Two, one is for other and one is for cost. Hmm. 
book dot title sorry other and book dot cost so let's save it and check whether our application is running without any errors I reload so if i impact console elements no console element but not rendering because my store don't have any data right to display so what i will do let me add some dummy initial state for that book dot reducer so here let me add a dummy data is the initial state which is not recommended for production for understanding i am adding this and later steps i am going to remove this dummy data okay so let's add the existing our db json on record we have right let's add this so book dot reducer let's add the item okay now i have an item so it must be a string so change it in dbjson as well okay now check whether i am able to fetch the uh, now in the initial state where book dot reducer this is my initial state i have some data so now from the home component i am listening through the selector so this selector nothing but it is getting the slice of data from the store okay it will bring all the data from the store entire store data now if i check i should see the uh, initial data what i have see now the card is rendered means the flow uh, store management flow we can see so component to read the data from the store utilizes the selector home component always listens for the selector books selector okay it got output as well like this so that means our store is successfully delivering data to the component so now we are fetching the data like a constant data we are storing in the store and fetching into the component now the thing is i want to invoke api and that api data stored into the store and that data i want to fetch into the component for that we need to create action effects and reducer method to update to store the response from the api right so for that first let's create a action now go to the books dot action file okay here also we don't need any class so i want to create a action that action represents need to invoke the api okay so let's create the action method export okay everything we must export in the store okay Ex in the books dot action file export constant i will name my action like invoke books api okay so names of the action must represent what is the event that going to be happen okay so to create the action we have a method like create action okay so this this create action loads from the ngrx store and it will have a one uh, input parameter that is like a type okay so that type actually represents the store action name okay so this naming you can give any name your wish but there is a standard and suggestion how to create so here it's in the square brackets it contains the source so what's this action trigger source and next type of the event so what kind of event that's going to be happen okay like this we have to name our action so i want to invoke a book api books api right my source is that one books api and what is the action invoking the fetch api okay i can name it like invoke books fetch api okay this is the 
and uh, naming convention we have to follow for our action okay so it is like source for the what to whom this action belongs to book api and next what kind of event this action going to do so this going to invoke the api call okay so i want to trigger action from component right let's trigger this action from the component okay so go to home component so where we have to take a in general api call on component load if you want to invoke a api call we have to invoke in the ngn right so here only we have to invoke okay for writing a selector from the store we what we did store dot pipe right for invoking the action it is like a command something do this so those kind of actions what you have to do means this dot store dot dispatch okay and inside of it see we can specify the action so i have just created one action in book actions right copy that okay and go to home component okay and it is a method and let's import it now this action method need to invoke the effect and that effect should invoke the api call so let's first create the api call by creating a service file into my books module okay so first let's create a service file like ng generate service okay and next name of the service i want to create it inside of the books folder and my service name is books so it going to create a file like books.service.ts file okay iphone iphone keep yes okay i got service file created if i go to the books folder here we have book service file now let's create a get api call logic okay for that we need to inject the private http client instance okay so let's import it from at the rate angular slash common slash http from here we can import the http client okay from this i can create a get method okay return http get get method right we have default http client dot get method so to this get get method i have to pass my api call so my api runs under localhost 3000 okay here if you click on this books it's going to open the api so copy this url okay if you have any kind of url for framing like get to post to put you can follow these documentation rules okay if you want all data we have to use slash our endpoint like books for posting slash post plus payload for put slash books slash id that we want to update for delete slash book slash id that we want to delete the record like that we can frame the routes okay now copy this url and paste it here so and this is going to give me the books array okay so this is my api call now this api logic i want to uh, invoke from the effect for that let's go to book.fx file okay and it should be a injectable service okay at the rate injectable okay it should be decorated that loads from the core and here what i can do inside of the fx let's add a constructor and here i can inject actions okay actions and it is an observable and its type is actions okay so that's loads from the ngrx fx actions loads from the ngrx fx okay type 
and also we have to inject our service type so it is a book service right so book service okay so these are the required injections now i will create a effect so i will name a variable like load all books okay and we have to assign the effect so create effect okay so create effects that also loads from the ngrx effects and it's going to return a okay observable so here we have to return like this dot we are going to use these actions so these actions can listen for the store actions okay so open the pipe and here we have to use off type okay so here we have to specify our action we have created a one action right which api action that we have to pass it here okay and import the namespace so what is this means we if you create n number of actions those all get automatically executed but they will verify the action name if the action name specified in this off type matches then only the next logic gets executed otherwise that effect won't work okay so since in my home component i am invoking this books api right so here it is matching this action method so then next logic of this effect gets executed okay like that so whenever if i create one more thing like this all get executed by default but they will check here whether the action method is uh, invoked and the registered action method name are same or not if they are match only they get execute uh, next next line of code if they don't match they don't execute okay and here what i can do i can use a switch map or merge map whatever it is fine okay and uh, finally i want to return a observable of api response okay so return this dot book service dot get then pipe okay then map okay that loads from rxjs map and everything okay switch map and map loads from rxj here what i will do api response i will get right i will map it like so here again finally i want to return an observable so that observable what i will return means i will again return an action here why i will return an action here because here api is success and data we want to send our data somewhere if you recall our diagram once the api is successful in the effect api is successful it again sending payload back to actions i have mentioned right so i need to return the action as a response action that any kind of observable action is also observable right so we have to return it but i can't use this invoke book api action again here for returning because one point it won't take any input parameters for payload to store it another point if you use it again it's going to be infinite loop okay since again it will trigger and it's going to invoke effects right so here we need to create one more action method for that let's go to actions book actions and let me create a one more action like export const i will name it like after api successful right books fetch api success okay this action name okay create action okay and first parameter source will be same books api only and the event is like books 
fetch API success. And to this method, we have to pass the data. What data API success payload API response. So we cannot directly pass. For that, we can use props. Okay. That's loads from the ng store. Okay. Inside of these props, we can assign an object like all books and of type book and array. Okay. So to pass any data to the action, we have to use the props. Okay. And this section, after receiving it, has, it has to store the data into the read store write. For that, it should be uh, invoke invoke the read user. So here we have to register our action here here also. So to do that, we have to use on. Okay. So this on also loads from the NGRX store. Here first will be the name of the action that's going to trigger or up change the state of the store. Okay, so my action name is books API. So in the red user, register it. And next, it will take a anonymous function. Okay, second parameter, and the in that second anonymous arrow function, first property will be the state. Okay, this state is nothing but this initial state or already whatever the data in the state. Okay. And the payload, the payload we are sending to the action. Here we are sending payload, right? All books. That object should be added here. Like all books. Okay. And I import the namespace of the action. Okay. And finally, this state won't contain anything, right? Empty only. This is the data, total data from the API, right? I simply written all books as my state. Okay. So that's it. I am just generated the new state because all the data from the server, now I want to push it into the state, right? So I will directly use this all books object as a new state object. Okay. So now I have to give the my action method here. Okay. In the effect. Go to effect. Here I have to give and here I have to call so first import the namespace and here all books property. I will assign data directly. So this is the array of books data, right? I am assigning it. Okay. So that's it. It works. Okay. Whatever what we did in the component, we are invoking the action method like invoke books API. So what it will do? It's going to invoke the effect that it's got registered. Here I have registered, right? For this load all books effect, I have registered with this action method. That means Whenever this action is invoked by a component, this effect must must execute. Instead of what you are doing, I am calling the API call. If the API gets successful response, I have created one more action method. I am returning it. Right. So this action method, what it will do? It will work with reducer for changing the state. So now I can remove this initial state. Okay, and now I check directly the output. Okay, application is not loading. So why? So I have mentioned right store dot dev tools. So here is the uh, reason why we installed that library. Once you install developers NGRX store, and we have to install the Google Chrome Redux extension then. The state can be seen here. Okay. So if you observe here, action, state, everything can be seen here, like see, raw, any structure. And if you observe here, invoke book API action got invoked. So what is this? This is the action that is calling from our home component. Invoke book API. See. 
claim invoke book fetch api but effect is not executed why it is not executed because we haven't registered the effect so same way how we register the store module dot feature we have to register the effect also for that in the books module okay let's import the effects module dot for future so here we can pass the array of effects so what is our effects class name uh, our effects class name is books effects right so register it here so where book module okay register the name and save it now check import the namespace okay save it and now check reloading still we didn't get the data now some error is occurred okay http client i have created but http client module i haven't registered so go to app module so in the app module register the http client module just an angular exception save it and now check see i got harry potter title of my book and jk rowling so this is nothing but api response okay so if you observe the network calls see here books api is calling response and that response i am pending if i go to the redex chrome extension see here steps first invoke book fetch api is invoked from where it invoked from here chrome component so it so it is registered with the epic right so it will call the api call api call done here you can see books api call and ultimately once the response is received it is calling book fetch api success and here you can see in the redex see one more action event is registered here see response is updating into the store okay right api success and the payload and the data is stored into the store okay that is how ngrx store executes okay so we simply completed entire state management for reading the data right okay next i want to do add now i have completed the read operation right now i am to do the create operation i want to save the data to the server next i want to insert the newly created record into my store and i want to display it on the here for the let's create one more component okay let's create one more component like the add component inside of the books module okay ng generate component okay and inside of the books folder and component name add and i want i don't want the testing files okay. run it so component is created so if i go to add components okay add component is added and if you check here inside of books i have two child components one is home component and another one is add component okay now let's register the add component routing go to book routing module okay here let's register one more route okay path i will name it like add component add component and then uh, let's create a form onto my add component okay for creating the new item so go to add component dot html create new container okay 
and a legend that displays the form add a new book now let's go to bootstrap in the form controls okay let me copy this first div okay i want total uh, three field, three input field one two three okay let's change their ids placeholder and type so here i want to display the name of the book okay and txt name and give it for id and type will be text field only okay second field is author author txt author and i can give author for id no need placeholder and it will be a text and the next field will be the cost okay so cost txt cost and remove field and txt cost and it should be a number so now what i will do go to add component.ts file here for model binding i will declare a variable like fig book form of type book okay and the default values like initially zero i don't bother about the id other empty title cost okay let's enable model binding cost will be initial number right zero so you can use ng model for model binding so ng model equal to what is our variable name book form book form dot title okay copy book form dot author book form dot cost and it's showing some error right that is due to we have to import the form module since we are using ng model right so go to book module and here import the form module okay so importing at uh, child module level is enough now if i go to html add component html that red line is gone okay now i want i need a button here for saving so button for create new okay its type should be button only not submit okay and now class btn btn dot and register a click event click and save right i need to create this save method in my ts file okay save so save means nothing but invoking the api call so invoking api call means we have to create a effect and we have to create the action and then we have to store it into the our uh, store so for this saving for invoking the save api call first let's create the action method go to book action file okay 
so here i will have a action method like export constant invoke save book api okay so create and its name it won't have any payload because just invoking the api call book api is the source and the event is like invoke save book api okay now it should be invoked from the add component so go to add component.ts file and to invoke store we have to inject the store so inject the store private store store okay that loads from ngrx this dot store dot dispatch and to the dispatch we need to pass our action so what is my action book action invoke save api book api so for that let's call it here and import the save book action method right so it should invoke the save api call but we haven't created the effect right so go to book dot effects now here i will write save new book variable and i want to create a effect create effect okay takes arrow function okay this dot action dot pipe and here is the main logic of type so we matched action method name only get executed the remaining logic so copy the mm, effect name so sorry action name invoke save book api go to effects is right here okay import the namespace okay once it is called you can use switch map or merge map okay and we have to return the response so switch map return and here we have to return the save api call but we haven't implemented the save api logic right go to our service so create a new method like create return this dot http dot post for creating new record and it's going to return the newly created record so its type is book and here we can specify same url and one more additional parameter for this post method that is our payload so here it should receive the payload so payload is payload and its type is book payload book okay now i have the save method save api call now go to the action effect we are creating so here this dot book, book service dot book service dot create and dot pipe it's going to return the data right map and here again i need to pass the api sorry call the api but here create method we have to pass the payload where we can pa pass payload nowhere because our action method doesn't contain payload right if we go to book action here it don't have payload but it should have payload for that what i will do i will add props because i need to pass the payload right payload book okay close now in the add component here what i will do i will simply pass my entire form this dot book form i'm just generating the new object and passing it and it should be passed to right so here 
what is payload to that payload i simply pass my enter form as a new object okay. yes okay simply passing the my form data as a payload okay now here i can read the action method properties for that i can read a, a variable like action any variable so this will give the a payload so here i can pass action dot whatever properties that reside in the action method here will come here i named as a payload right it is coming as a payload if you name like a new book where the action method that name will be shown if you name it like name book that name will be shown here so i am using payload it will show like payload okay so i am passing payload to the api call and then once record is saved same record will be delivered back to the api call sorry delivered back to the client so here i have to invoke the one more action method for passing my api response for that go to action method almost similar to this only but the name of the action method will be different yeah i can name it like response if you want let's let's change the action method name like save save book api success okay here also name change save book api success okay so that is my new action method and now i can use this in the effect so here i simply call the save book api success and it should have response and to that response i am going to pass the response from the api data that is a single book newly created so this is my effect so what we are doing we are uh, uh, listening for our action method and reading the action method as input and from there we are sending the payload and then we are re re receiving the response and that response back to the save api success now i want to push this new data into the store so that it will be available in the store okay so i save all and if i go to the book reducer book reducer and now i want to listen for the on new let's copy the action name what is it save book api action okay and state existing state i mentioned right arrow function so that is existing state import the namespace and the second parameter of this arrow function will be our response so what is response okay so this is array and this is the single object just saved okay now you cannot directly push into the state variable like state dot push because it is read only because we never manipulate the change state or never manipulate the state data directly but we can regenerate the new state okay so for that what i will do cannot push directly anyway into the state object so let me create a new state okay to that new state push all entire data of the old state okay this triple equal to pushing new array into this array and now i can push new state dot i want to add my newly created record on the top of the list and shift dot response and finally return the new state okay so we are listening for the save api call as well so if i go to add component i am invoking effect effect content say another action method for saving into the where store now let's try let's try it so let's add a add button on the home component dot html dot row 
find the call call md4 offset md4 okay i want to middle the button okay i'm going to use anchor tags and route link and it is simple add okay add a new book that's going to route to the add component and i want to display it like a button btn button btn dark okay now test the add operation see i got the add a new book if i click on it i am on the form one more book like alice adventures in wonderland ignore any spelling mistakes and it was written by louis carol okay and its cost will be 50 bucks okay now if at all i create i click on save method let's open the terminal okay and we click on create nothing is happening but if i go to developer tool and network call see my save api is called with the payload alice in wonderland right and if you go to redx and here you can see invoke save book api that is nothing but the action method that we trigger from the add component save method this action method is invoked and later save a book api so that is nothing but after the api success invoked by the effect so this also invoke that means our data will be definitely saved into the store if i navigate back see i can see both the data the reload my book is created but i am not navigating back to home page we should navigate back to home page but how we know the api call is completed and the api call is successful or if you want to show if the api is error then if you want to show the error message how we can show for that what we can do we can maintain a two more properties like api status whether success or fail and api response message any exception from the server in two properties we can save them and create one more interface like book container let me show you like book state a root one and here you can have like books book okay array book this is the book state and all other api status string and api response message like this you can create but if this will be a repetitive code because api status and api response we want for all the entire application right so what i will do i will create a global state for the these two variables if you want you can create it but you have to create it for every api in some cases we might need like that okay but mostly it is better to create at the global nothing but the shared store that means we have to create the app level store app level state okay so first let's create the app level state so first i want to create the state object type okay so ng generate i want to generate a class interface interface okay where i want to it is it is the global thing for so let's create a folder like shared inside of create shared folder let's create one more folder like store inside of it create a entity like app state okay and now create another store file like generate interface shared store 
and now i want to create file for reducer so app dot reducer i can create sorry it is not interface it will be a create a class file okay and share so app dot reducer is store okay app dot reducer and i even even skip dash okay reducer also created next i want to create action generate class shared store app action if and even skip dash Okay, action file also generated. Now I want to generate the uh, selector. So simply change the name to selector. Okay, now I am not going to create any effects because I I don't I don't need any a global APS to be called. Okay. So for now, these files are enough for, for to create the global state. Okay. So if you observe the file structure. SRC in app in the shared folder. You can see the all the store related reducer, selector, state, and action. So in the state, let's define properties like API status and the API response message, any error message like that. Okay, so this is my state object. Now, first, let's create the state in the reducer. So, in the app reducer, okay, export. What constant app reducer and to create a reducer we have to use create reducer okay and it required initial state right export constant initial state equal to it is of app state type and initially api state is empty and API response message error message is empty. Okay, this is my initial state, and to this initial state, I am going to pass it here. Okay, now let's create the um, selector. So app dot selector. So we have to create the no need class. We have to create the future selector, right? Export constant. I will name it like select app state okay, we have to create a future right create future selector of type app state and give any name like my my app state okay and when we did for uh, bookstore the selector name and reducer name registered in the future module right same way this is the global right it should be registered in the root for that go to app module okay and here let's remove this and specify the name here so what is the name my app state to that my app state as a property and its value will be the reducer name so what is my reducer app reducer okay and import the app reducer in the app mode now in the app action so where is app action store let's create a action one action that is like export constant set api status okay 
So to create action, we can use create action that loads from NGRX to. And the first name is type. So this is for API thread. So I will simply give all API thread. So simply give API and a success or failure status. Okay, and it should receive the app state as input parameters. So props. So props that load from the NGRX store. Okay. And API status and app state. Okay. This is my action method in my global action file. So now I want to use this action method uh, that to be dispatched before calling the API call and also after API successful or API failure. Okay, so for that, let's go to the effects. So in the effect service, I want to inject the store. But this effects is in child module. If I inject the store directly, then that store will be the bookstore, not the app store. To make it app store, we have to specify the its state type explicitly. So app state store. If I leave it, it will be a bookstore, but it should be an app store. Explicitly, we have to specify the type app state. Okay. Glo we are using now a global state in our child module nothing but the child store now using the app store we are invoking the api right here this dot store dot app store app sorry i have given app state should be app store more meaningful so app store dot dispatch and here is the action method we have to pass. What is our action method, app action method? That is set status API, right? And it will have, sorry, first import the namespace. And now we can get the API status. And initial values will be empty. Okay. Initial values will be empty. But once it is successfully say API call is successfully saved, then it is always better to send that message. So for that, what I will do, I will cut this. I will open braces and I will return. Okay. Now here I am going to again dispatch it. But this time API status will be success. Okay. Just as in the types. Now go to our effects. Yes, now issue is resolved. So go to app component. Sorry, add component. And here in the save method, let's as in for state variable so that no memory leaks will happen. So here also let's inject the store module, app store module. So we know that how to install, how to inject the global store. So app store, store type app state. Okay. Now this dot app store dot pipe i want to use the selector so in the app selectors i have one selector right app selector select app state so i can use it so go to add component and use the select method that loads from the ngrx store see select method that loads from the ngrx store to that select let's pass our selector okay import the selector Okay, so let's assign status. And so it will be a component method level variable. And now what I will do, 
app status dot subscribe okay so i will always get the app state either any empty state or anything but whenever i got success i want to navigate back to home page so if app state data dot app status equal to success so what we are reasoning in the fx success right so if that equal to equal to success then i redirect back to my home page for redirection i can inject router service private router and router that slots from the uh, router angular router so this dot router dot navigate dot okay and home page like this we can navigate but since our effect is updating status to success right we should again empty it because whenever same registration using other components since already data is updated to success at that time it will immediately navigate back to home page which is not correct so for that again here we are going to dispatch it update the values of the api status so this dot app store dot dispatch okay and set api status action method and here app status equal to empty api response message equal to empty okay sorry A API status equal to empty and API response equal to empty. Okay, that's it. Now we have successfully completed our add logic. Okay, okay. And here I forgot to update the app state reducer. So here we haven't implemented the state update logic. Okay. So import the on and here our API status that API status action method and it will take a arrow function as a second parameter and first parameter will be state and second parameter will be our payload object. So what is app state action? So this will be our second object. Okay. So app state reducer. So now this will be the new state object, right? So I can directly return instead of ignoring the old state, I can directly return the new state that is API state. Now we can test our add operation. So click on add a new book. Angular NGRX demo. Just I will give my name and 200 works. And let's click on create. See, now I am automatically once adding the book. I am redirect back to my home page. And if you observe here in the red X, see invoking book API, see which status is updating here and again update back to empty message like that. But here, if you observe one thing after saving, this is save payload, right? We are again invoking the API call while returning back to home page, right? So it will be unnecessary server call. We can reduce it, right? So to reduce that, we can change the get API call effect to so book effect 
so it is an unwanted api call right once the data if the data is exist we no need to call this right so for that in the load all books api call what we can do with latest from that's going to fetch the latest data so inside of this latest from from the store i need to fetch the data that means i can use this selector so if i go to home component how we are getting the data this dot store dot pipe right i can directly use this selector in the books effect okay let's import it import the select and let's inject the one more state so private store okay now in this switch map i can read values of this action method and this action method so first observable is invoke right but that is an void we can uh, open a array and first parameter will be the first invoke book api but it it contains empty data right so i can leave with comma separated void and in the second value i am going to read this one so books from store okay so first is i have left empty because this action method doesn't contains any input payload i want to use and second is book store from okay now what i can do here if book store from dot length means array contains data already if data exists i simply return emt empty observable that is nothing but the rfjs observable okay here comma is missing add it okay now if i add and navigate it back to my home page we won't see additional call let's try it add add some dummy okay so here you can see network call added see only save api network call is there but no get api network because i have already data right so i am not invoking it let's check update okay let's work a update operation for that let's create a one more component for update so ng generate component and inside of the books i want to create one more component that is edit if and if and skip tests okay if i go to folder structure i can see one more component folder that is edit like add and home components okay so now let's configure the routing for the edit component for that go to books route module and here let's add one more path so path and edit and here i am going to pass some dynamic value to pass a dynamic in value in the angular route you should specify a placeholder by prefixing with colon okay this will be a dynamic value while routing the url and its component will be edit so component will be edit edit component okay so it is almost similar to the our add component.html so what i will do go to add component.html copy the entire form and go to edit component html paste it so i will change like update book update book and button will be update and this method will be update okay so in the edit component edit component.ts file let's add a 
the method update okay and go to add component ts and create this book form variable okay edit component ts is fine here okay now i want to populate the data okay into the form so that means i want single record from the store in app comp in home component for getting data what we used we used select books but the select books fetches all the data from the uh, store but i want single component based on id for that let's create a new selector go to book selector okay let's create a selector like export constant select book by id so here above that is a create a future selected it is like a future it is whole state now i want to slice of state for that i have to use create selector okay create selector that is also loads from ngrx store but this create selector won't accept any input parameter but we want to filter data right for that what i will do i will create a arrow function and in that arrow function i am going to return this create that arrow function i am going to return create selector okay so for this arrow function i can pass the value like book id okay so in the in this create function now what i will do this create function will have two parameters one is that future selector that is nothing but this one so selector select books comma next an arrow function as a input second parameter so books book of array so what it will do means whatever the first data that output will be injected into the input as a this arrow function so it select books gives all the books right that books will be injected into this arrow function now i can filter here where book by id equal to books dot filter okay So id equal to equal to book id input parameter again we use here book id okay so if at all this book dot book by id dot length equal to equal to zero means no book found to edit then return null simply else return book by id of zero because Filter will return array of data, right? Like that. So this is my new selector for fetching the particular book. So I want to use this selector, select by book ID, for in my edit component. So go to edit component. But to pass that selector, so first let's inject store private store store. Okay. So in the ng on in it, this dot store dot pipe and select method. And what is our new select? Select by book ID. Right. But it's need ID value. Where is that ID value? Now I have that ID value presented. I want ID value from the route. Right. So to get the ID value from the route, we need the route data. For that, we need to inject one more service that is private route activate that route. Okay. Now here, what I will do? This dot. 
H dead H H form data. Okay. Equal to now what I will do. This dot route dot param map. Okay. Dot pipe. So we are reading the route values. Okay. So here use switch map and param. Okay. Now I can read the values from this param where id equal to equal to param dot get. So what is the dynamic uh, URL type so book routing ID right copy the string and go to the edit component is five here. Okay, that's going to which is the data. Next I simply return a this observable this or pipe observable so it will going to return the data this will book id okay now what i will do i will subscribe to this fetch data form data if data exist means book found then what i will do the i want to assign to this form model we have book form right so this we have to assign so book form equal to see you cannot assign directly data because that will be the memory of the store so we cannot manipulate the memory of the store but we can create a new instance by opening this curly braces and use triple dot and push enter for store data into the new object and assign that new object to the form book. Okay. Else, if no data form, then we need to redirect back to home page. But because that is an invalid record that we are trying to edit. So private router. router okay so this dot route to home page okay now i think we should get the form data once we load the form so to check that what i will do go to home page dot html and here create one more card body okay and here let me add a button so here edit right let me add a anchor tag and class like btn btn dark and it will be my edit okay and the router link and here first parameter will be the array of input we have to assign first parameter will be our edit and second parameter will be the value id value so book dot id give let's do single quotes okay now test it Now we got edit button, right? If I click on edit, see my data got populated. From the store, I am fetching the record. Whatever record I want to update, I can fetch from the store. See, Alice. Right, so my edit is working. Now I want to work on updating the record to the AP as well as the store state also. Okay, so first let's create the update API call for that go to book service. 
so update this also contains payload book okay but return http get or get not get put for update so it also return the updated book and here instead of double quotes use backticks because i am going to have some dynamic value in my url okay that dynamic value nothing but the id of the record slash dollar and follower braces and payload dot id okay so that is my url and second parameter will be the payload okay this is my update api call okay now so we know that we need a action method to invoke the effect and also we need a effect to call the api call and we need one more action method to save the api response into the store okay so first go to book actions to create the new actions so export constant invoke update book api okay so create the action and it almost contains same data like payload this action method and invoke update book api okay so that is my logic now i have to invoke it from the my edit component so go to edit component and here this dot store dot dispatch right so invoke update api right and it contains payload that payload must be our form data this dot form okay I am just invoking the action method. So this action method need to invoke the effect. So let's create the effect. So effect is like uh, it's almost look like save. So what I will do, I will copy this to save some time. Add it here. And one thing we want to change here: invoke update book API. Okay, that is changed and. Uh, change this variable update book okay and here we need to send the status message in initially empty and second status message will be success there will, won't be any change but here we want to create one more action method for updating the api response and also here the api call must be update okay now let's go to action book actions so just duplicate it okay so update book api success update book api success okay and i can use this in my effects so go to effects and return it here and go to action and change this name as response any name you can give so i will give like response now import the namespace okay so this is my effect so what we are doing we are calling invert update book api and we are dispatching the api status empty and store again after successful api status success and calling the update api and finally returning the update book api success and i want to update it in the my reducer also so go to the reducer of the book reducer okay here 
So update book API success state response response okay and here you first remove the uh, existing record from the state and assign it to the new state okay new state equal to state dot filter okay dot id not equal to equal to response dot id means initial data i am removing from the existing state and assigning to the new state okay now new state dot unshift and i am going to push my response okay and finally returning the new state so i think i am done no i need to write the redirections in the edit component as it is i am going to copy it from the add component dot ts file okay so copy this line of code and go to edit component dot ts add over here and import the required namespaces and inject the app store so private app store store of app state okay So now I think we can check our edit functionality. Okay, let's go to website. Let me edit. I want to change it to some thousand and click on update. See, I am redirect back and my data is successfully updated. And you can check all the redex calls here. Okay, all the NGRX uh, actions, whatever action, when it is triggered, you can observe here. And data is also what kind of payload we are sending, what type of response it is getting. All the data can be seen here. Okay, developer tool, very helpful. Okay, so we are done with read, create, update, and let's do the final step that is delete operation. Okay. So for delete, I won't create any component in the home component itself. I am going to open a pop-up, okay, bootstrap model pop-up on our, for confirmation. If the user confirm, click on confirm delete button, then I am going to invoke the API call and delete the record, okay? So for that, let's implement all NGRX store related things. So let me add one action method here. Let's duplicate these two things. Okay, invoke delete book API, name it like delete book API and change it like delete book API. For delete, no need to send entire payload. Just an ID is enough. So it will change to number and book status API. ID okay. So let's change it to delete book API success, delete book API to success, and here also simply send the ID of the record we want to delete. Okay, so these are my action methods. So to this action method, first let's create a API call in the service book service. So go to book service. So delete, it contains ID value number, okay? And return dot HTTP delete, okay? So simply pass the URL like update, no payload required, but a dynamic ID value must be required. So it is a simple ID, okay? So that is my API call. Now let's create the effect. So book effect. So let's copy this. I hope you understand how to create a book effects. So I'm just duplicating them. 
ओके तो इनवोक डिलीट बुक ए पी आई चेंज इट टू टाइप ओके एंड एक्शन मेथड आई रिक्वाइड फॉर टू सेंड द आई डी एंड दिस स्टोर ऑल्सो रिक्वाइड बिकॉज वॉन्स डिलीट आई वॉन्ट टू क्लोज द पॉप अप राइट कंफर्मेशन पॉप अप एंड हियर इट विल बी आई डी सिंपल आई डी शुड बी चेंज इट टू डिलीट ओके एंड चेंज द नेम टू डिलीट ओके एंड इट विल बी आई डी तो डिलीट बुक ओके डिलीट बुक ए पी एस एक्सेस अपडेटेड ओके एंड इट्स रिक्वाइड आई डी तो एक्शन डॉट आई डी आई कैन रीसेंड इट हियर अगेन ओके so that's it what we change name change okay and type of action changed and here api call delete change and success is changed now based on this success message i want to remove the value from the record from the store so if i go to book reducer okay here we need to create one more reducer function Okay, so that is like delete API status, okay, and arrow function. And in the arrow function, first parameter will be the normal existing state, and next will be the properties of the action method here. That is ID, okay. Now what I will do simply let the new state. I can use this line of code, okay. i just removed the id and i want to return the new state so that's it we are done with the reducer changes solved okay now i want to add a bootstrap model into my home page so for that go to bootstrap website and go to components in the components select model okay from there what you can do copy this model example okay go to html home component html here add the model and remove the model so id value give some meaningful id delete model okay now the instance of model will be available in the window variable that we need to access in the component go to home component dot ts file now on top let's declare a window variable declare where window any okay and now let's create a variable that is like delete model okay any and create one more variable like id to delete to hold the variable and number and equal to 0 okay now in the ng on init what i can do this dot delete model equal to this dot or not this dot new window dot boot boot wrap dot model okay and document dot get element by id and here pass the id value of the model so home component dot html copy the id and pass it over here now we have control over the bootstrap model here okay now let's create a method to open the model pop up okay open delete model okay and here this dot item to delete value equal to we have to assign so this property will contain input parameter like number so i am going to assign it to id and next i will simply open the model 
So to load that, I can use this delete model instance and call show method. Okay, I go to HTML. So here, what I will do? Delete confirmation title. Okay. Are you sure to delete this item? The message and it is a confirmation delete, right? So make it red and confirm delete. Okay, here click method registered with confirm delete okay so what i will do i will create a method in the home component so while clicking the confirm delete i want to invoke the book delete api action method so for that this dot store dot dispatch and invoke delete book api action method and here we need to pass the id this dot id to delete variable i can use so i cannot directly pass okay this dot id to delete okay here also we have to listen for the api status go to edit component or add component okay and just copy this line of codes. Okay. And import the actions and selectors and inject the app store. So private app store store app state okay i am using it here and also inject the router service so to inject the router service private router router okay i injected router service as well and here i am don't do, sorry here no need the router service i just want to close the pop-up okay delete the router service delete it and here this dot uh, delete model dot hide save all and in the cards component bootstrap cards component in the home dot html let's add the delete button so button type will be button and click so for this click i need to assign some open delete model method okay and pass the book dot id delete okay so that's it we are done so let's test it okay i got delete button let's add some styling to it plus btn btn dark okay click on delete if i close nothing will happen click on confirm delete it going to delete my record see my record is gone i can test a number of times and it will delete it if i reload also the record will won't come because it will delete in the state as well as the api okay so that's all about the angular 14 state management using the ngrx 14 okay i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off